can be male. The first letter says, Dear MB Mail, please give a shout out to Mr. Jones. I love being in this class last year. From LES. Second letter says, Dear Meadowbrook News, can you please put more cringy noise effects in the video? They're kind of funny. It really depends on each video's editing style. Third letter says, Shout out to Haley TJ for being the only person who can light up my world. From Anonymous. That's it with the MB mail. Please don't promote this bird. And please don't spam the mailbox with the same letters. All of the pride cards that were put inside of the mailbox will be placed inside of the pride card bucket for the drawing. <laughs> this was Elisa. And Lynn. With the MB mail. I'm not over. Our first contestants are Kaylee and Zoe, and this is the first song. Down with a smile. Since she got it right, she gets to pick a pride card. Here's the next song. Here we go. 24 karat magic. If yeah. she won, she gets a fake or pride card. Our next contestants are Caroline and Ava, and this is the next song. Of a feather by Julia. Oh, dang it! <laughs> Since she won, she can pick a prank card. <laughs> Wait, guys, I want to play. Okay. Get over here. Mustangs, it's your ASB President Cat here. Happy Thanksgiving, Mustangs! It's your ASB President Cat here with the Meadowbrook News. Thanksgiving is a time of gratitude, a time to show your appreciation. Today, I'm showing my appreciation to my younger sister Tran. Happy birthday, Tran! This. No, I, I, I got it. I got it. This was Trophy with the President's message. Happy Thanksgiving, Meadowbrook. Hey, Meadowbrook. This is Gavin with the MB Mail. Now, I don't have the mailbox yet. But I heard from this old psychic lady that if I concentrate on anything hard enough, I can manifest it. So I'm going to see if I can manifest the MB mailbox. Oh, cool. It worked. Anyways, let's go see what our first letter is. Our first letter isn't actually a letter. It's two pairs of scissors in a water bottle. Guys, please stop putting random stuff in the mailbox. There's been so many times where I've just opened it to see like pack of apple slices or 
water bottle and two pairs of scissors, it's really not cool. Keep our campus clean, throw your trash away, please. And our second letter says, shout out to Bradley, Guillermo, Isaac, Nathan, and Brandon for being nice to me last week. From Aiden Thomas. When's our next break? And also, when's our next minimum day? From Una. Also, shout out to Amanda J for being a good friend. Our next break is all of next week, which we have off for Thanksgiving. And then our next minimum day will be on Thursday, December 19th. This was Gavin with the MB Mail. My metal Road. Quarter mile without line, we're green. We're going for it. Mr. Bill's a rock star. I'm taking this down. I'm about to go. Hola, this is Justin with the exercise of the week. This is not how you do a jumping jacks. This is how you do a jumping jacks. While raising your arms to the side to a level above your head, then returning to the start. Do this in one continuous movement. This is Justin with the exercise of the week. Adios amigos! Are you very creative? Amazing at art and craft. Then join the creative club. The creative club is where you can do art projects and then just keep them at the end of the session. Such as origami, watercolor, redecorating, and more. Meetings are held on Wednesdays in room 214 at lunch. Hope to see you there. Bye bye. 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 Good morning, Melbourne. This is Harlan with a few words of wisdom. Former President Harry Truman once said, I have fought all my life against prejudice and intolerance. What does it mean to be prejudiced? Well, we've all heard the saying, you can't judge a book by its cover. When we prejudge someone or something, we form an opinion without looking beyond the cover, the appearance of things. Every single one of us has the right to be accepted and understood as individuals, not a member of a race or an economic condition or a religion, or a club. Today, let's follow an example of Harry Truman and work towards breaking down the barriers of prejudice. With something to think about, this is Harlan. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. This is Santi. And Miss Garza. With the Mustang Needle. First question, what do you do at Meadowbrook? Well, I'm a school counselor, so we work in three domains, social, emotional, academic, and college and career. Um, basically, I feel like my job is to help students be successful in class. Second question, where did you attend college? Well, for my undergraduate, I went to Fresno State, go Bulldogs. And for my uh, master's degree, I went to the University of San Diego. Third question, what is your favorite hobby? Well, I like to do anything, as you know, outdoors, like going hiking, um, camping, anything that requires me to be with my family and to hang out outdoors. Fourth question, how many pets do you have? We have two pets. We have a nine-year-old chihuahua named Honey and we just got a bearded dragon um, named Spike. Last question, does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes and no. Yes if it's not cooked on. I don't like it cooked on. Okay. This was Santi. And Miss Garza. The Mustang Mule. Oh no, I'm so hungry. Yeah, you're right. Hey, I have an idea. 
there's a there's a 7-Eleven just down the street. We can get food there. It's 10 minutes. We only have 10 minutes to lunch. I don't think we're gonna make it. Plus, aren't we not allowed to go there? Okay. What if we go to the Mustang Market? If they sell pajama pants now, they must sell food, right? Hey, that's a great idea. Let's head over. Okay. Hi, how can I help you? We would like to buy food. Yeah, we're starving. Give us food. <laughs> Sorry, we don't sell any form of food or drink here. What about candy? Nope, nothing edible can be bought from the Mustang Market unless you want to eat clothes. We're selling our hoodies and PJ pants. Honestly, I'm so hungry. I could just do that right now. Wait, uh, there's another place to purchase food around here. Um, there's another place to purchase food around here. 7-Eleven? But we won't get back in time. No, not 7-Eleven. The cafeteria. What? You can buy. You can add money to your school account and then buy a treats and food whenever you're typing in your ID number to buy lunch. What things can you buy? You can buy items like ice cream, popsicles, chips, Izzy's, frozen yogurt, and other things. We have things like rings, mochis, jewelry, and erasers. We're also looking for more ideas to the Mustang Market, so if you have any ideas, go to room 909 and talk to Mr. Steiger. Okay, we'll do just that. Let's just go. This is Taven with the Word Up. The first word is equate. The definition of equate is to consider that one thing is the same as something else. And the example of equate is don't equate being tall with an increase in athletic abilities. The second word is element. The definition of element is one part of a plan. And an example of element is fixing the economy was a major element in the president campaign. Bye guys, this is Taylor with the word up. This is a reminder that the mindful moment will be following the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you for watching the Meadowbrook News. Please stand, put your right hand over your heart, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.